hello everyone welcome to my channel so after long time i am going to upload video that is different than the traveling and our maritime sector so today it's very interesting that is topic that is i would like to talk about the investment in the real estate versus investment in the stock so many of us nowadays young generation are investing in a stock so we should know the what, what, are, what are the pros and what are the cons of investment in a stock versus investment in real stock so today i would like to talk about what are the benefits of investment in a stock versus what are the benefits of investment in real estate and lands so uh, step by steps and point by point i will discuss about the what are the pros and cons of investment in the real estate versus in stock so which is better so the basic difference in, in, in investing in stock and real estate real estate is a hard work so like you have to buy a land so it's very difficult to buy a land and build, uh, buy a apartments so it's a hard work one of the main cons of the real estate investment that is it is hard work as compared to stocks investment in stocks is very easy so like you have to only open a demat account and that you can buy any shares and stocks so that is one of the easiest way to investment in a stock so you can say that investment in real estate it's hard work as compared to investment in uh, stocks markets in stocks it's very easy to invest in a stock so this is one of the difference and another different another difference is that in in real estate its investment cost involves recurring costs like if you have to like if you want to buy a land you want to buy a apartment you have to pay government taxes and that go for that taxes you have to pay wait wait, wait for the long time to for the right customers to buy so it's it's it takes a recurring cost recurring cost that is that means that you have to pay for the maintenance you have to pay for the government taxes there are so many recurring cost in the real estates but as compared to that stock market there is no recurring cost so you can invest in the stock market without the without investment without recurring cost so this is also one of the benefits this is also one of the pros of investment in stock market so in a stock market there is no recurring cost but in real estate or land you have to pay recurring cost like government taxes like seven nowadays 60 70% taxes you have to pay for the government to buy lands you have like registration cost there are maintenance cost there are so many things you have to pay for the uh, real estate investment but in a stock market there is nothing like that so this is also one of the benefits of investment in stock markets in stock market only you, you need to have one demat account that is very easy to open a demat account there are many online platform where you can open demat accounts and you can start investment in the stock markets but like that in real estate it's very difficult it's very difficult and very high highly recurring cost uh, that is in real estate so this is one of the differences of the investment in the real estate and stock markets another difference that is liquidity like what is liquidity like in real estates if you want to buy a, if you want to sell a land or apartment or some buildings you have to wait for the right customers and you have to wait for the perfect time to sell the uh, sell that uh, that that property but in in a stock market whenever you want to that money whenever you need at instant you can sell so this is also one of the benefits of investment in the stock market that its amount is in liquid form it at instant you can get it back but in if you invest in the real estate or apartment or land it will take long time to get the that money so this this one also one of the benefits of investment in the stock market so you can say that in a stock market the money is in liquid form in liquidity form so in stock market investment in liquidity form so this is also one of the best and benefits of investment in the stock market another benefits of investment in stock market that is dividends like there are many companies who yearly quarterly and paying dividends to the stockholders let suppose you are buying a stocks of uh, tata motors that con that, that costs around uh, now now it's cost around 1000 cost suppose you buy two months before that time it was around 800 800 rupees so now it's 1000 so you get the benefits of 200 rupees that price infl inflation and another benefits that in a stock market that is dividends like every year company a stock market paying some amount of money to the shareholders as a dividend amount like the company giving you suppose you have 50 stocks 50 shares of tata motors then you, that company is paying uh, around 10 rupees to 15 rupees per shares in every quarterly so this in, in apart from the the profit you are getting 800 to 
the 1000 that is 200 inflation rate and that in mid in mid, mid you can also get the dividend that is paid by the company in quarterly or every six monthly or every yearly so this is also one of the best benefits of investment in the stock that you can get the dividend that is also one of the i like to invest in the stock market so this is also you can say one of the benefits of investment in a stock market but in real estate on land you have don't need you you, you do not get any kind of dividend but you have to pay for the maintenance you have to pay for the taxes there are so many things liability but in in stock market there is nothing like that so this is also one of the benefits that dividend pay so that's so all about uh, our uh, video that is real estate versus stock market investment so we will try to explain some more video of uh, now uh, now after what's after this video we we'll try to upload some video of, of investment and stock market related video hope you will like it that's it thank you very much